हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज मोहम्मद सोहिल एंड टुडेज आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कार्डियोवेस्कुलर सिस्टम इन कार्डियोवेस्कुलर सिस्टम आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू द हार्ट एंड ब्लड वेसल्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द एनाटॉमी ऑफ हार्ट इन नेक्स्ट पार्ट वी विल कवर द ब्लड वेसल्स सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट गेट स्टार्टेड now coming to cardiovascular system cardiovascular system consist of heart and blood vessels now coming to the first that is heart heart is located in the thoracic cavity between the lungs the weight of the heart is approximately about 280 to 340 in males and 230 to 280 in females human heart is covering by pericardium now what do you mean by pericardium basically pericardium is the covering of the heart pericardium protect the heart to its position in the mediastinum there are two layers of pericardium fibrous pericardium and serous pericardium first fibrous pericardium fibrous pericardium is the cone shaped it is also known as superficial pericardium the superficial fibrous pericardium is composed of tough inelastic dense irregular connective tissue fibrous pericardium prevent over stretching and anchors the heart in the mediastinum then second serous pericardium the serous pericardium are of two types parietal layer of serous pericardium and visceral layer of serous pericardium the space between parietal layer of serous pericardium and visceral layer of serous pericardium is called pericardial cavity now coming to the layers of the heart there are three layers of the heart epicardium myocardium and endocardium now coming to first that is epicardium it is the outermost layer or external layer of the heart it is also called as visceral layer of serous pericardium then second myocardium it is the middle layer of the heart it is also known as cardiac muscle tissue it is responsible for the pumping action and last is endocardium it is the innermost layer of the heart it provide smooth lining for the chamber of heart and covers the valve of the heart now coming to the structure of the heart heart is the blood pumping organ it is divided into two left and right part with the help of septum there are three layers of the heart epicardium myocardium and endocardium and this three layers is called heart wall the heart is divided into two parts left and right part these two part are again divided into chambers the right part of the heart has two chamber and the left part of the heart has two chambers the upper part of the right chamber is called right atrium and the lower part of the right chamber is called right ventricle the upper part of the left chamber is called left atrium and the lower part of the left chamber is called left ventricle right part is divided into upper and lower chambers with the help of tricuspid valve and left part is divided into upper and lower chambers with the help of bicuspid valve the atrium of the heart is called receiving chamber and the ventricle of the heart is called pumping chamber because it pumps the blood there are two veins of the heart first is inferior vena cava and second is superior vena cava inferior vena cava brings the blood from lower portion of the body and superior vena cava brings the blood from upper portion of the body superior vena cava and inferior vena cava transfer the blood to the right atrium because right atrium is the receiving chamber then the blood is comes in the right ventricle with the help of tricuspid valve and this blood is transferred to the lungs which carry deoxygenated blood then the oxygenated blood is goes into the left atrium with the help of pulmonary veins this blood is comes in the left ventricle with the help of bicuspid valve and then with the help of aorta blood is circulated to the body aorta is the largest blood vessel and largest artery of the heart now coming to the chambers of the heart in the four chambered heart the two superior chambers are the atria and the two inferior chambers are the ventricles on the anterior surface of each atrium is wrinkled pouch like structure called auricles 
they slightly increase the capacity of their respective atria. The series of grooves or sulci on the surface of the heart contain coronary blood vessels and variable amount of fat. Each sulcus marks the boundary between the chambers of the heart. The deep coronary sulcus mark the boundary between the superior atria and inferior ventricles. Now coming to right atrium. Right atrium receives blood from three veins, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava and coronary sinus. Right atrium forms right border of the heart and receives blood from superior vena cava, inferior vena cava and coronary sinus. Right atrium is about 2 to 3 mm of thickness. In right atrium, posterior valve is smooth and anterior valve is rough. Blood passes from right atrium to the right ventricle with the help of tricuspid valve. This valve is also known as atrioventricular valve. This valve is consists of dense connective tissue covered by endocardium. Then right ventricle. Right ventricle receives blood from right atrium with the help of tricuspid valve also known as atrioventricular valve. Right ventricle is about 4 to 5 mm of thickness. Internally, the right ventricle is separated from left ventricle by septum. Then with the help of pulmonary artery, blood passes towards the lungs. Now coming to left atrium. The left atrium receives blood from lungs with the help of four pulmonary veins. Then blood passes from left atrium to the left ventricle with the help of bicuspid valve. The valve of left atrium is thicker. It is small in shape than right atrium. It is roughly cuboidal in shape. Then coming to left ventricles. Thickness of this chamber is about 10 to 15 mm. It forms the apex of the heart like right ventricle. It is cone shaped. Blood passes from left ventricle through aortic valve. Some blood flow on coronary artery and remaining blood passes from the aorta and supply through the body. In this way, we have completed the anatomy of the heart. In next video, we will see blood vessels.